In this lecture, I will explain how to make delicious tonkatsu, the Japanese style pork cutlet. Thank you for supporting our channel. Our first online course is open now on Udemy. Course link is available in the description box. And check out the best deal on getting to the program. We present to you the very unique toppings for sushi rolls. So, we will be able to make the best of it. In this lecture, I will explain how to make delicious tonkatsu, the Japanese style pork cutlet. Tonkatsu is one of the most popular dishes in Japan. It can be used for sushi roll filling. So please master how to make it and expand your repertoire. We use half an inch slice of pork tenderloin to make tonkatsu. First, make shower cuts on the surface. Cut the connective tissue in between the meat and fat at 90 degrees angle, 5 mm intervals. This is the crucial technique to make a good tonkatsu. It makes the meat soft and easy to bite through. If you don't do it, the meat curls up when it is cooked and it's not visually appealing. Flip and do the same to the other side. Season with salt and pepper for both sides. Here is the tip. If you sprinkle too much salt and pepper, put it on one another and season the other side. You should always keep your cutting board clean. Now let's prepare the breading ingredients. Sift the flour to make sure there is no lumps. Add 3 tablespoons of water to 1 egg and whisk well. Move your whisk back and forth to cut the egg white. Then, pass through a sieve to remove the lumps of the egg white. The egg mixture is a glue to stick panko breadcrumb. If the lumps of the egg white remain in the egg mixture, it will make the uneven layer of the panko and the texture will be compromised. Check out the best deal on getting to the program. Next, dust your pork with the sifted flour. Press the meat gently to stick the flour all over the surface. Do not forget to dust the sides. Shake off excess flour, dip in the egg mixture, then coat the entire surface with panko breadcrumb. ここにつけます。表面にですね、つけます。この時ですね、できるからパラパラパラと軽くにですね、なじませてやる感じですね。こちら。トンカツ preparation is done。で、この後ですね、油で揚げて。
。Now, let's see how to cook the tonkatsu. Heat your oil for frying to 170 to 180 degrees Celsius. Slide in the prepared pork slowly from the edges of the pan. Do not drop in the hot oil. Use the tongs to slide the meat slowly into the hot oil. Be careful not to burn yourself. Do not touch it until the outside is cooked, otherwise, the crust falls off. After a couple of minutes of deep frying, repeat over. Do not overcook, otherwise, the meat becomes firm and the crust will fall off easily. Gradually increase the temperature up to a little over 180 degrees Celsius to finish it crispy and golden brown. Observe them carefully at the last minute of cooking. When it has finished cooking, take it out and hover it over the hot oil for a while. What this does is dripping off the excess oil from the crust. You will be surprised how it is crispy when you do it. Take it out onto a wire rack to release the steam, and you can keep the crispy crust longer. Cut into strips too easy to eat with chopsticks. Serve with cabbage or lettuce or an assortment of vegetables of your choice. We often serve it with tonkatsu sauce, but the chef likes to do it with oroshi ponzu soy sauce to make it unique. Grate daikon radish and squeeze out the moisture. Pour ponzu soy sauce over it and mix it lightly. Grated daikon and ponzu soy sauce have a tang that cleanses the palate and balances the richness of the tonkatsu. It's a great combination. The way of serving tonkatsu in this way will please your guest. Our first online course is open now on Udemy. Course link is available in the description box. And check out the best deal on getting to the program. This is the Samurai Sushi Spirits. ありがとうございます。また、お越しくださいませ。